Hello, folks. Welcome to Legend of Zelda. This is my Let's Play, and I am Chef Nonsense. I'll be telling you this evening of a very tragic event that happened. Or at least, it seemed tragic. It was only tragic for the first half, but then unity and succession was found by heroes of a fallen kingdom. So, our story begins with a young boy named Link. His height was, oh, about five, five nine. He had dark brown hair, always wore green. He was a charming lad who liked to always go on adventures. Well, he finally got to go on the adventure of a lifetime. He was now in a dungeon. A level dungeon, one dungeon level, at that. Many people have talked about the dungeon levels, but few have ever de dared to attempt to go into one. For such things as a boomerang throwing things would dare try to kill you. You see, it was quite a rainy day when Link decided to venture into that dungeon. He had the misfortune of dealing with someone who was very bad at video games. He had to deal with him. To try and navigate him through that dungeon. He tried to show off. He tried to be but he could not grasp the concept of Let's Play. He tried to be a little bit more interesting than what he did, but ultimately failed. Namely, here, Subject A, Wallmasters. He was pulled to the front of the dungeon. What a buff. Right, Evan. My, my side-handed detective. Evan decided to play a video game on my iPhone. He strokes his beard in contemplation of his next action. I inquire as to how things are going with him while I promiscuously avoid any contact with the video game on screen. So, Evan, how are things going in that video game? Evan's lackluster attitude always bugs me. I need a new sidekick. Maybe Thomas. Maybe Thomas. He would probably be part crying. But once again, our hero guided by the most idiotic person ever. Me. From two years ago. And this kid did not quite fathom how to play video games. He was an interesting lad at the age of 16. Always full of energy. Well, except in We will not speak of subject B, the read of that. Right, Evan, I mean, was that not a tragic event to befall us all? Man, I really need a new partner. Anyway, this dungeon is shaped like a key. Quite frankly, all the blue got in my eye because it was very blue. The dragon Aquamentus was green and had a horn. He was shooting fireballs at me, but I was so cocky, so 
sure of myself that I wouldn't get hit, but I got hit so many times, and I'm just like, I need that fairy. I need to make that fairy my wife, but that fairy would never want to marry me. So then there it was, the Triforce. And my story ends here, on this note. Thank you for joining me for this lovely episode of Phil Noir. I have been your host, Detective Nonsense. Please enjoy the remainder of the episode with whomever decides to give you the voice next. Hello all, this is Jeff Nonsense from Later in the Future. How are you all doing today? I hope you are doing just great. Right, Evan? Evan is doing just great too. Is it that right, Evan? Yes, yes, you are. Okay. So now we are going to further parts of the world of Hyrule, and we shall now go on to do things. I don't know quite what we would do. Maybe we will go defeat some Octrox. Or... Octro... What are they called again? Thank you, uh, Evan. My goodness. Detective nonsense is quite right. <laughs> you are most annoying. But it is not quite as annoying as my handsomeness. So here we're going with my bad self going further into high to do more things. But there are things, you know, trying to kill us, trying to destroy my good looks. But we get a stopwatch that, you know, freezes time. I don't know why that happens. Why couldn't they put like a block of ice? You know, so that I could sit on an impose for a lovely photo. I remember when I posed for a block of ice photo in Hollywood. Do you remember that time, Evan? No, you don't, because you were not in Hollywood, because you aren't a star. Like me! Shut up! You know nothing. You know nothing. I am the most handsome movie star ever. So, we now have a piece of paper that I believe is for... I, I don't know quite really what it is for. I mean... It could be for, like, smoking a cigarette or something. I love cigarettes. No, I don't, because it would destroy my beautiful lungs and destroy my beautiful voice. I love this voice. Don't you, Evan? Yes, you do. Anyway. And if, Evan, you dare try to say otherwise, I can just edit you out once I ask my assistant to edit it out. Since I don't know how to work this thing that Rev Ryan put up here. Anyway. Wait. You are his assistant. I need Ryan back. <laughs> Where is he? Get him. Go find him. No! That would never be right! I must stay here! Forever! Wait, did this idiot really just die? Oh. My. Gosh! I am going to have a bad hair day because of this guy. He is making me lose my hair. I am ripping my hair out from this guy, this idiot! But I will still give this guy one more chance to try and prove himself Worthy of playing video games. Don't you think he's terrible, Evan? Just like Detective Nonsense and I. See? Even Evan agrees. The only agreeing thing you've said to me tonight. The only nice thing you've said to me tonight. Why is that? Why are you being so... Ugh. Uh, okay then, well, alright, uh, we shall then, uh... 
has he hired this guy? Why did he hire him? Why, why, seriously, why did Chef Nonsense hire you? What is that supposed to mean? Well then, okay, um... Well then, it seems like my soup is going to not be here because it is only seasonal. SEASONAL! That is unacceptable! I demand a refund! I demand to speak to my manager! I demand to speak to everyone! You know, this just puts me on edge. You, this terrible host who is monotone, and my soup is not available. I'm going to my trailer.